Greetings, greetings. So here we have a two versus two. It's myself and Lethal versus Twilight and Magpie on AA2 Sticky Grounds. All right, so hold fire, walk off somewhere where you don't matter. And then let us speed up here a bit. Whoop. All right, maybe, maybe not that fast. Where are we at? Eight. All right, so lethal's over top right here, starting with some solars. On top left, we got some solars, um, energy storage. Twilight down here, a few energy storages, uh, mixed solar wind. Magpie down here, starting with metal, getting solars up now. I do like this map. This map is um, been playing it for a while now. It's classic 2v2 map in my eyes. Although I do feel like the south is a little unbalanced because I think the desert mexes actually give a little bit less. Actually, I have to look at that. So I think they actually use more energy to get the same metal, which can't. I don't know. Which isn't good. So it's like a 0.7 or 8. No, it's a 1.0. So Twilight's, he's already at like 18 metal, 13, must have been second something up, I'm not sure. Yeah, he was second stuff up, so he's at 13. I don't know, they either have more metal or they require more energy to get the same amount of metal. But um, I digress, as, as I was looking at stuff, um, I came up here, set up minefields. Um, started air, I got a B down here. Wanted to kind of be able to protect against big K-Bot swarms. Um, I didn't have the energy to cloak them though, so Twilight did find them. Unfortunately, they were alerted to them. Did help against the K-Bots, I will say. Lethal's down here with his commander, just in case. So yeah. Um, I started there. Lethal had started K-Bots, Twilight Vehicles, and Magpie also K-Bots. So right now Magpie is just trying to kind of apply pressure, but look, probably looking for Twilights right there. Always a good thing when you're facing arm. <laughs> Shoot random metal spots just in case. The mines are paying for themselves, thankfully. Twilight's getting a defensive line set up here and trying to get a stronghold in the center, which I'm not doing too much to stop him. I probably should have been a little more aggressive here. But I didn't want them to know I had air until I did this, which it didn't matter anyways. Because he got quite a bit of AA up. I feel like he... He either seen that I had air or he had guessed from the radar up here in the mines. Right now I'm just trying to get a, uh, a nice little force just in case. Because I haven't seen anything from Twilight yet. I wasn't sure if he was building up a force and then magpie magpie always has a force <laughs> i seem to be massing he says which is not wrong they must be able to see on radar here not yeah okay yeah twilight's got a radar up and they can see all that magpie coming in with artillery get rid of that um those defenses there 
Trying to get these peewees up to help him out. Lethal countering with his own artillery. Meanwhile, Twilight's coming in with the, uh... Nice. Like, mine wasn't even cloaked. Twilight coming in with lemmings here. Lethal made a pretty good push. Made it pretty far down. Or maybe that was me. And Lethal's making his push now. Twilight loves his lemmings. He's really trying to get those in. Lemmings are great. Um, if you have little metal but a lot of energy. Come here. They only cost 30 metal um, to make. Like... 2,200 energy though, so 2211. So they are energy intensive, but they're great if you know you need something to apply pressure, but you don't want to spend the metal. They're basically, just kamikaze uh, vehicles. Magpie transitioning over to vehicles to help him push. Um, Twilight really, really s grabbing that center area there. I'm not doing anything to contest him. Hammering me with lemmings. Luckily my commander's kind of doing stuff on the front line here. So we can keep losses to a minimum. Got a little artillery fight here. Magpie about 50% on that vehicle plant. It's got the fort turrets back here. So he can pump stuff out. Twilight doing great on his eco here. He needs all that energy for the lemmings. Which he is still just pumping out. At this point, I kind of... I'm trying to set up a defensive line here. And... Basically, on the left side, there's a defensive standoff, and I'm just trying to help the right side just kind of push through. No defenses over here. A few. He's got some LLTs down here, but, I mean, a lot easier to push that side than try to get through all this. Commander's got to be weak. Like 50%. Lethal just keeping the pressure on. It kind of works out nice because like his his units came in. Or I think my peewee started. Then he had his hammers, and we just kind of had like a nice continuous push there for a bit. Back here, Lethal really hammering up his uh his eco as well. I stole <laughs> I stole both of those geos. I mean I'm sharing my stuff hopefully, but <laughs> stole that. Stole those from I think he's got a geo somewhere over here. Yeah. Working on his geo there. Um Twilight and Magpie both are lacking a geo. Where's the other geo spot? Yeah, see the south is a little more unbalanced, I think. Cause there is I feel like another geo. Yeah. There's a bunch of geos up north. I think that's why. Is there really not another geo spot? Well, they can blame. South can always blame the loss on uh, <laughs> not having geos. I think I did redo this map with. Um, made the geos more balanced. Lethal trying to push in and get this uh, Guardian down. Tons of uh, lemmings and some crashers for the AA. Luckily they're not they're not doing him any favors. They aren't getting very far. Nice LL HLT, a blocker. Pretty much keeping them at bay enough. Punisher's shelling the front line here. 
Magpie building up a good force. Um, levelers to deal with K-Bots. We got some damage from the Rockos and then a uh, few hammers for long distance support. Probably about to lose this vehicle plant. Yep, that went fast. <laughs> Started making lemmings of my own to hopefully run some interference. I was trying to build them up to attack the defensive lines up here, but Magpie just kept on the pressure, so had to change them, or had to change up my strategy there. And back here. Lethal's over here amassing um, construction K-Bots. Looks like I'm doing some bomber things. Some bomber things, some lemming things, and some Rocco things. What is this? Oh, I saw mines over there. Oh, that's right. I'm coming in to bomb the Guardian. Had I been paying more attention, I definitely could have got that K-Bot lab, but I didn't. I did get the just built Geo though. So that that's a plus. And then I just felt all the AA. Magpie coming in with lots of crashers. Um It's getting a little too close though. My favorite my favorite group of K-Bots, the Crashers and Jethro's or Jethro's and Rocco's. I love that mixture. You have nice um, support with the AA, um, and then you have the damage output with Rocco's. They just they go really well together. I'm trying to bomb out this front line here. Twilight like getting a second K-Bot lab up. His AA is seriously lacking though. Bringing in the lemmings. Lemmings and bombers were surprisingly effective. I'm trying to hold this line for lethal. We got a few guardians shooting on it though, so that's nice. Hmm. Another forward K bot lab. Forward K bot labs are really um really effective for putting pressure on my <laughs> I was really worried my lemmings were gonna blow up right by his geothermal there <laughs> oh that would have been devastating lemmings versus levelers is isn't a winning fight it's not what you want so what do we got going on? I'm starting advanced K-Bots. Still pumping out bombers. Tons of energy production back here. Probably a nice uh, amount of metal from those those bots there. Over in the south side, we've got nothing new back here. Got the vehicle plant. I did take out um, the one K-Bot here, but he did get his other one up. Magpie really utilizing his commander here to defend. Sending some peewees to their death. I like getting more AA up. I was so mad I didn't get that. Ugh. Just bombing him. Ground bombers, air bombers. I've messed up right there, but I think I come back and get this K-Bot lab. I could have bombed all those. I knew they were there, too. That's what makes me mad. Magpie over here making a nice push up the side. Um, he does have quite the, four, quite the defense line to push through, though. Got his three guardians. I've got mine back here. And then just some patrolling ha uh, hammers to to add to the artillery. I'm 
at this time, um, since I was pushing so heavy over here, and this was pretty well defended, I think had they focused their resources on the left side, they would have stood a much better chance. Still have the Guardians. Um, they'd probably be able to shoot to somewhere around right here, maybe. Somewhere around a screen. Now we have the Vipers as well from Lethal. I did get this cave out lab though. Really trying to just uproot this front line here. Twilight getting some chainsaws up. Um, what's going on back here? Just not too much new. Magpie getting an air plant up. I seems I just got my advanced up. So we're about to roll out some advanced eco here. Still pumping out the lemmings. And bombers. I love watching cats <laughs> blow up from bombers. <laughs> Lost all my bombers, but that was definitely worth it. Was it the best target? No. It was satisfying, though. Um, like I was saying, though, had they pushed through the left side, it would have been much easier to get through. Um, they could have mustered up <clears throat> a nice force. Because um, I have two HLTs, a blocker, and a guardian over here. You would get some fire from these guardians, but it'd be a lot easier than trying to get through this. Also... Um, the crashers. The crashers are kind of needed for the the bombers right now. Um, the levelers are needed for this. You know, it really helps out. Helps thin the herd of K-Bots. Hammers are thuds, rather. Great. Um, great. It takes about 20 hammers or 20 thuds to take on one guardian. Um, they generally win that fight if you could run interference so the guardians don't shoot them. Uh, you obviously stand a much better chance. My lemmings are not really making it through anymore, but bombers still are. Forget what I'm going for here. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. I didn't even drop a single bomb. That was... That was a waste of bombers right there. Twilight getting an advanced vehicle plant up. Magpie getting some bombers of his own. Which... Uh, <laughs> as far as air defense goes, I'm... Severely lacking. So is lethal. He could bomb these guardians out. Pretty easy, probably. Actually, you'd probably go for the uh, the Geo. Hit the Geo first. Oh, there goes the Geo. I don't know what just happened. I think he just blew up his Geo. <laughs> Weird coincidence. Weird coincidence. So, yeah. He, well, the Geo. Oh, okay, yeah. I gave him a uh, advanced unit, so he's getting a prude up. Thuds versus lemmings. The lemmings will usually win. That's usually a winning fight. Well, yeah, berserkers will usually do better against lemmings. A group of like levelers, berserkers, and crashers would probably be doing him a little bit better right now. Um, if he would go for some faster vehicles, like if, let's see, I do have a lot of K-Bots up there though. Twilight's finished with his advanced, but if he went for some faster vehicles to get in, get up on the Punishers there, he'd probably be probably be doing a bit better on that push 
Um, if you kept some some thuds and then like some instigators and some raiders, they could get up on the punishers while the thuds just kind of chip away at their health. Now, I mean, there's still the K-Bots to deal with, but... He's got air. Um, he could have some bombers for support, just run in, blow them up. There's a lot going on there. This, this side would have been much better to probably push on, especially with some instigators and raiders. Um, you could get up here real quick, get the HLT... Lemmings are, are not doing a good job getting through at that. They did find out we have advance. <laughs> Lethal up here just pushing with the fences. Throwing them with the fort turret. He's got his prude up. Those are real nice. A prude gives um... Gosh, what is this? Like 2,000 energy? No, it's 1,000 energy... What does a prude do? Wrong thing. I think it gives either 2,000 energy or... No, either... Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's either 1,000 energy or 26 metal. They are really nice. Big push going on this side. Lethal up. Look at the uh, the big old circles up there of construction K bots. Bombers coming in to thin the herd. Or erase the herd, whichever. <laughs> Twilight sending some lemmings for support. Lethal's up. He's probably getting a lot of metal from these. He's at 84 right now. He also has a prude, so that's another 26. Um, he's getting his advanced up. Lots of advanced solars. Had they made gunships and just rushed them to the back, we could have been in like trouble. Shelling them out with Fido's right here. Fido's are really nice. They either have like direct fire that you're seeing right now. And then they, or they have, um, you can turn them on or off and switch to a uh, ballistic. So they can shoot pretty far. They're not shooting though, so that's troubling. Another big push coming. Oh, lemmings. Lemmings and levelers. Lots of lemmings. Got the uh, air plant there. Commander's hurt. Not hurt enough though. Lethal coming in with gunships to try and get rid of this toaster ambusher. Um, backed off though. Do a little bit of raiding. Dead. So Twilight trying to get some advanced fortifications up here. He's got a, a flacker for the AA. Getting uh, he's got a guardian up that'll help, and then a ambusher in front of that. If they had made air though, and if he put all this crasher metal into gunships, um, like I'm now starting to get some fighters, but he could have ran up the line here with those gunships may well no that that sam's too far away he would have taken some fire from a couple pulverizers which is nothing he could have come all the way up here and just wiped all this out i mean gonna would have got some fighters up and retail it well he would have got the uh he could have gone for the aircraft plant first and then this is all i would have had to deal with it he would have probably pumped out crashers i got another air plant so he, you know, would have pumped out AA as we went, but he could have done a lot of damage back here. Ambushers up. Probably going to start shelling the front line. I think you can hit maybe around here. Probably get rid of this Viper for sure. 
lethal coming in with lots of gunships to try and get this thing out of here. Fortunately, I'm with the flacker and all these crashers, it's just not enough. He did get the flacker though, so it should be easier to kind of get rid of that. Magpie looks like he's lost a lot of ground up here. Though I think a lot of it has just been his units, which are now over here. Almost. He almost got it. It's being repaired, though. Sending some lemmings in to do nothing. They did absolutely nothing. Um... So right now it looks like I'm focusing on ecoing up and building some some ticks and getting some fat boys to try and take care of this, but they did not last at all. Lethal just trying to hammer this ambusher, uh, getting more fat boys up. I think I'm building twilights up here. Yeah, I'm getting Moho Twilights. Lethal going to take that, or Twilight going to take his uh, 4HLT out. He's also got an uh, Annihilator up. He's really, uh, he's really locked this down. Got the 40 HLTs, the Guardians, the Annihilator just takes the cake. Lethal coming in with bombers. Almost dead. Coming in with a second wave of bombers. And he got it. Magpie going to push. At this point, I feel like they waited way too long to try and push. Now, well, I've got to prude up. I was prude. I was building the Juno to get rid of the uh, defenses up here. It does uh, short damage, costs a lot of energy. I think it does like a thousand damage, and they're very weak. I think they have as much armor as a flash. So Magpie still hasn't gone advanced. L oh, looks like I'm back here with ticks. Just paralyzing everything. Lethal coming in with bombers. Got his vehicle plant, nice. Magpie losing ground. Yeah, I'm over here just eating stuff now. Coming in with some Mortys and some Levelers. Yep, I'm just, <laughs> just eating everything with ticks. Lethal coming in, destroying the front part of his base. We finally broke through. You just watch everything disappear. Commander coming in to save. Save his base. Too little, too late. He had to choose the back or the front. So yeah, I think I'm using the Juno now. They're really nice. Um, so yeah, it's like an area kind of like this. Like it hits in the center and then it does like about a thousand damage, I think. Or I think it does a thousand damage. But it costs an insane amount to... Um, well, it's insane, but let's take a look real quick. So to build it, it 
It's almost a hundred thousand energy and a thousand metal. And then if I'm not mistaken, it's like a twenty thousand drain for the um those shot. It might be might be less. I don't I don't remember. Hang on. Holy bomber. 1,000 energy drain, it looks like. Holy bomber. <laughs> Woo. So let's see. Yeah, so it's a thousand uh, energy per second. Twenty thousand's crazy. <laughs> um, and you know, it takes like two to kill a fusion, but it doesn't have too much range. On this map, I mean, it's pretty crazy, but. That's game. It's pretty well played, I thought. Um, Magpie did a pretty good job at keeping pressure, but he never really made progress. Um, he probably should have jumped to advance at at any point. Really, um, you can only throw your units at a wall so much before it's better off to just change your approach try to tech up that way you have more options um definitely could have used the go advance before this annihilator went up he could have got some if he went chaos he could have got like some mortys to kind of hammer out the front line there um artillery would have been great um mortys he could have used dominators he would have sumos he could have made a few sumos and tried to cloak them get them up close, uncloak them, and just lay into, like, the Guardians. Pyros would have helped immensely with the, um, just the swarm of K-Bots that were coming. If he went vehicles, um, Reapers would have helped with these K-Bots. Um, he could have gotten, like, a, just a little, um, radar vehicle and a Tremor to see the front line and just hammer stuff out, and then he would have needed some things to protect it. Um, something I've seen a lot from Seton is like, first thing he does when he goes advanced, he'll get a tremor, a radar vehicle, a flacker, and a termite. And it does amazing work. It does amazing. It's very efficient, and it just does, it does amazing things. The termite does a great job at protecting the tremor. The flacker will stop. Um, air stuff and the tremor's got enough armor to kind of get away if like a lot of things charge it it's not perfect but with the termites help to run interference it does amazing work um twilight he held the front line there for a long time but he never really made progress um same same as uh, magpie on this side really he didn't really push. I think if they had focused their push over here, uh, they would have been able to make some progress. Because I, they either would have forced me, they either would have gone through or forced me to put more into defenses, giving them more breathing room. Um, like I said, the air, if they had gone air and just made some gunships. Gun bombers do, but... If they had just made some gunships, they could have zipped past all of this, and there's nothing back here. <laughs> would have had to make planes as I went. They would have easily taken out that one. I did have this one up here, but, you know, when, when you've got, like, 20 gunships, one, one fighter at a time isn't going to do much. One fighter, one crasher, one Ares. That's all I would have been able to pump out. <laughs> Lethal would have been able to help, I'm sure, pump some... Uh, crashers out of here. He, I don't know when he got that up, but like 
we would have lost a lot before we got that under control. They could have taken out these two geos. Um, they would have taken fire from my commander, maybe a defender, probably not. And like those two geos would have, I would have been crippled. That's a thousand energy I would have been losing right there. They could have come up here, taken out the energy storage, the air plant, um, this metal, like everything on the screen, they probably would have gotten rid of. Of course, they didn't know, but had they gone air and sent some scouts in, like it, it's it's amazing how little <laughs> AA we have for how much we were using air. <laughs> we don't really have fighters. I have maybe fifteen fighters up. Like at at any one time, I had maybe fifteen fighters. Wasn't making crashers or Jethro's, you know. I have one Sam and two pulverizers. Two pulverizers. That is our air defense, and it's all in the same spot, pretty much. <laughs> so, if they had used air, they definitely they could have won. Um, I don't know how the game would have gone, but they definitely could have put themselves in a position to win if they were able to push it really hard if they took out all this all these advanced solars lethal would have been in a bad spot if they took out my two geos i would have been in a bad spot and then you know they could have gotten rid of this metal which i don't know how much that is maybe around 10 depending when they hit it you know that that could be <laughs> it could cripple me um even right now i know the game's over but say we had all this stuff right now there's one flacker so if they came up, like they could have hit all this real quick. I wouldn't spend too much time, especially because there's stuff that's shooting. Um, those are Moho Twilight, so they'd most likely just fly right over those. They could have hit the storage, hit the brood, hit the fusion. I'm now down a thousand energy, twenty six metal, and I lost my storage. Come up, hit the K bot lab real quick. Um, then. 20, 20 gunships would probably do it too. <laughs> Hit the K-Bot lab real quick. Now the force that's been, you know, kind of patrolling down here, that lab is gone. Hit these two fusions real quick and book it. Um, I'm down. I'm now down 2,000 energy, 26 metal, and like this fair game back here. They'd probably have lost maybe half their gunships by now. Um, if you... I wouldn't stick around because the commander is here. He'd be taking a little bit of fire, but maybe get rid of that aircraft plant. But I think it'd be better to get rid of these geos real quick, come back, hit this air plant to stop any planes from coming out, knock all these winds out maybe, and move on to the advanced solars. They probably, probably could have gotten at least 15 of those advanced solars, which is, well, let me do quick math real quick. Quick math, so let me pull up my calculator. <laughs> well, advanced floors are 50 times 15. So that's like 750 energy at least. Like, I'm sure. On the first wave. And then after they do all that, it's going to be harder to make stuff. They could have sent more in. They could have sent some bombers back here maybe and just bombed the crap out of these advanced floors. It could have been ugly. We wouldn't have been out of the game. I would have still had the Moho Twilight, so I wouldn't really be able to power them. I'd probably still have one Fusion, so I would be able to power them. But I wouldn't be able to do too much. Would have been rough. Uh, but anyways, it's just my thoughts. Also, they never really grabbed their Geos. That would have helped immensely. Um, Geos and Twilight are, are huge. They're worth 500 energy. Um, great things to destroy, great things to build. <laughs> but, good game. It was well played by both sides, I thought. Lethal was a big old powerhouse over here with the uh, metal production. I think he was supplying en enough for both of us for a while there. So, he had... Yeah, he had produced about 300,000 metal. Um, I was at, oh, just shy of 300,000. The two of them combined are about 120. So they were incredibly out-resourced. 
Um, I wasted so much metal. <laughs> everyone's everyone's under a thousand, and I'm at twenty five thousand. <laughs> I did terrible. I don't know what happened there, but it was not good. It was not good. I felt like I was using it too. Like, jeez. But good game. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and see you next time.